Assalamu alaikum students welcome to maths class today we will start a new chapter that is chapter 13 of your maths book direct and inverse proportions students we have learnt about ratio and proportion in our previous classes we know that a proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent students we know that if two quantities are related in such a way that a change in one causes a corresponding change in the other then the quantities are said to be in variation or we say that one quantity varies as the other there are many situations in our daily life where the variation in one quantity brings a variation in the other for example more the number of articles the more is the cost the lesser the distance covered the lesser is the petrol consumed the more the speed of a train the lesser is the time taken to cover a distance thus we can say that if two quantities are related to each other then either of the following happens when one quantity increases the other also increases when one quantity decreases the other also decreases when one quantity increases the other decreases when one quantity decreases the other increases understood there are two types of variation depending on how one quantity changes with respect to the other these are direct variation or you can say direct proportion and indirect or inverse variation or inverse proportion do you know what is direct proportion two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion or direct variation if whenever the value of x increases or decreases then the value of y increases or decreases in such a way that the ratio of x and y remains constant let's understand with the help of an example here we have a pen its cost is rupees 15 what will be the cost of three pens yes the cost of three pens will be rupees 45 similarly five pens would cost rupees 75 and eight pens would cost rupees 120 let's write the number of pens and their cost in a table here the cost of one pen is rupees 15 3 pens cost rupees 45 5 pens cost rupees 75 and 8 pens cost rupees 120 students have you observed that as the number of pens increased the cost also increased in the same manner see here the number of pen has increased 3 times so its cost also increased 3 times and in third case see here the number of pen has increased 5 times so its cost also increased 5 times and in fourth case the number of pen has increased 8 times so its cost also increased 8 times here we observe that the increase in one quantity causes the increase in another quantity or we can also say that the decrease in one quantity causes the decrease in another quantity you can see that as the number of pens are decreasing its cost is also decreasing understood let's check the ratio of number of pens to the cost of pens here in first case the ratio is 1 is to 15 and in second case we have 3 by 45 which is equal to 1 is to 15 and in third case again we have the ratio 1 is to 15 similarly in fourth case also the ratio of number of pens to the cost of pen is 1 is to 15 here we observe that in all the four cases the ratio is equal so we can say that the ratio is constant understood good two quantities x and y 
what is x here x is number of pens and y is cost of pens so two quantities x and y change together in such a manner that the ratio of their corresponding values remains constant we can say that x and y are in direct proportion or we can say that number of pens is directly proportional to cost of pens understood so what is direct proportion two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion if whenever the value of x increases or decreases then the value of y increases or decreases in such a way that the ratio of x and y remains constant